Hey everyone, welcome to this Tuesday Truth, where we're in a series called Lessons from Lockdown. I want you to think with me to the very beginning of time, when God created the world and when he created the very first human being, the man called Adam. Then God said to Adam, it is not good for man to be alone. And so he created the woman Eve to be with him. This story teaches us that humans were made for relationship. We were designed for connection. God himself is a relational being. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are in perfect relationship with one another. And as humans made in his image, we too were designed for relationship. And lockdown is highlighting this. We're stuck at home. And although we have our families, well, most of us, we're missing people. We're missing going out and seeing friends. We're missing going to school. When I first started thinking about this devotion, I, I, I knew that I wanted to speak into this topic. I wanted to speak about how human beings are made for connection. And that's obvious. I mean, we, we, we can't do Zoom meetings for the rest of our lives. There's only so much connection that can happen over a Zoom meeting. But the more I've thought about this, the more I'm realizing that our need extends beyond connection. It extends beyond face-to-face -face relationships. It extends beyond us getting together with mates and having great conversation and enjoying each other's company. Because I believe that even in our face-to-face -face relationships, family relationships, friendship relationships, dating relationships, we're dissatisfied. I believe that we all think and know that something is missing in our relationships. Most of our relationships feel shallow. Now, Zoom has been amazing. It's amazing technology and it has been great to be able to connect with one another online. But Zoom's teaching me a lesson. It's helping me put my finger on the thing that is missing. I don't know if you guys have seen the YouTube clip that's going around about a Zoom suit. I'm gonna show you a photo of a Zoom suit. You see, this Zoom suit is cut so that on the screen, what you see is someone who looks perfect, you know, ready to present or ready to be in a meeting. But when you put on your Zoom suit, you can wear any pants that you want to and no one would see. You could even sit in your underpants and no one would know the difference. You see, I'm realizing that Zoom meetings are like that. We sit behind a screen and people might not see all of us. And then I thought about it some more and I realized that it's not just in Zoom meetings where we put on our Zoom suits. We actually put on our Zoom suits in every single human relationship that we have. Because we're so used to presenting the best parts of ourselves, the parts that we want people to see. But we're also so used to hiding the stuff that we're not proud of. There's so much about us that we feel insecure about, ashamed about, guilty about, that we just don't let people see. We put our best foot forward. But I think that something is missing in our relationships because actually deep down, we all long to be fully seen, to be fully known. We all wish we didn't have to wear Zoom suits. We all wish we didn't have to hide behind a screen. We all long to be able to be seen by others as we really are and to be loved and received just as we are. Can you imagine going through life not having to pretend where people could just see you for who you were and they loved you and received you anyway. 
Now, there's a little verse as we read further down in Genesis 2. And it's an amazing verse. Because after God made Eve, in verse 25, it says, Adam and Eve, his wife, were both naked and they felt no shame. I think this gives us a beautiful picture of what human relationships ought to be like. No, not being physically naked. But I think it gives us a beautiful picture of being vulnerable. You see, human beings weren't just made for connection. They were made for vulnerable connection. We were made to be able to be seen by others and not judged and not rejected in that place. The lesson I'm learning personally in lockdown is that I want this. I want my heart to be naked in my relationships with others because I'm tired of pretending. In the same way that Zoom meetings are exhausting, it's exhausting being fake. It's exhausting all the time having to present the best parts of myself. I wish I could just be myself and be loved for who I am, even with all my flaws. And as you're watching this, maybe you can relate. Maybe you want this too. Some of you are in a relationship with God and you've realized that that's the safest relationship of all because you can go into a room, close the door, and you can get honest with God about some stuff and he'll never ever reject you and he'll always love you. But I believe that it can extend beyond our relationship with God. I believe that like Adam and Eve, it is possible for human beings to be in a relationship where they can be naked and feel no shame. But how? This feels impossible, right? Well, I don't really know the answer to that just yet. Because I'm quite early on in my journey of this way of thinking. But what I can do is just share with you what I've been trying to do. See, what I've done is I've started in my relationship with Jesus. In my quiet times, instead of just reading the Bible or praying for other people, I'm starting to spend some significant amounts of time just talking to God about the real stuff that's going on inside of me. I'm sharing things that I might be embarrassed about or afraid to share, but I'm sharing them anyway. And then what I'm doing is I'm asking God this question. God, even though I've said all those things, what do you think about me right now? And then I, I take some time to be quiet. And as I'm quiet, I listen to God's answer. And every single time I've done this, either through a still small voice or through a Bible verse that God brings to mind, he affirms that he loves me, that he does not reject me, that he receives me in my place of vulnerability. And the more I'm beginning to believe that God loves me as I am, the more it's giving me confidence to be able to go to those that I love and trust and, and those who love me and to start being vulnerable with them and to start sharing some things that I might be embarrassed to share about myself. But you know what I'm also realizing? Every time I've taken this risk and done this with someone who loves me, I ask them the question, what do you think as I share this? And without fail, every time they've responded, I love you and I receive you. Even with all my flaws? Yes, even with all your flaws. And I'm growing. I'm growing in my ability to be vulnerable with others. My prayer for you is that you would go on this journey too. Start with God. Get honest. Ask him what he thinks about you. Listen to his affirming voice. 
And may he give you the courage to go and be vulnerable in your relationships with others so that when lockdown's done, we go deeper than ever before. God bless you this week. Love you guys and see you on Friday. 